Good evening, everybody, and hi to everybody on Facebook Live. It is so exciting to be here in LA on the eve of International Women's Day and, and tomorrow's Day Without Women. What are they going to do without us all tomorrow, OK? <laughs> well, I'm very happy to be co-hosting tonight with uh, uh, Lisa McQueen, Media Manager of Toyota Motor Sales. Where are you, Lisa? Wave at me. Nice to see you, uh, Lisa. She, Toyota is our generous partner tonight, and it's wonderful to have Lisa as my co-host. Well, there's been a lot of rock and roll in Washington, D.C., right, since we last met. Uh, it's hard to tell you to turn off your cell phones because, you know, some new plot line might come, you know, exploding <laughs> in this crazy, you know, unreality show in which we're all now living. Uh, but I promise you that something good is coming out of all of this, all right? All those women's marches that we saw, 654 marches with over 4 million participants, are a powerful expression of radical new energy that is awakened everywhere. When we founded the Women in the World Summit in 2010, it was to give voice to something then that at the time very few people had noticed, which was a gl rising global women's movement. And it had a dynamism and a passion and a vision which I actually thought was missing really in those days from American feminism. The heroes that we brought from the stage uh, from Africa and South Asia in the Middle East to tell the stories of their battles for gender equality were living proof that feminism is above all a basic human rights movement and that they were very inspiring. But it took a few years, okay, but what we saw in January this past year was at last American feminism's great awakening, a collapsing of divides of color, creed, and even gender that has sustained its energy since. And I think we're gonna see another explosion of that energy tomorrow. And we need that energy because despite all the noise about efforts for gender equity, women actually are slipping back right now in the United States, losing ground, and they are in danger of losing heart. Just 23% of the top jobs in the new White House are held by women, compared to 36% in George Bush's team and 44% in Obama's. In the C-suite, it's still only 4% women amongst the Fortune 500 CEOs, which is a paltry number. And last year, of the top 250 domestic grossing films, only a pathetic 7% were directed by women, which is a 2% drop since 2015. How did that happen, ladies? What were you all doing, okay? <laughs> How did it happen? By the way, we don't even get a break when we're dead, because last year, 75% of the obituaries of the New York Times celebrated the lives of men. <laughs> but at Women in the World, we celebrate the lives of women, and we have some outstanding women. <laughs> We have some outstanding women, both on the stage and all of you in this room. Really an amazing group of women. One panelist, I'm afraid Zinab El Rousey couldn't be with us for personal reasons, but everyone else is ro roaring to go. I want to thank the Neuhaus, the Neuhaus in Hollywood for its hospitality this evening in this incredible space, the old CBS radio building. I can feel the ghost of Lucille Ball somehow around here. <laughs> And I extend my gratitude again to Toyota, who have been wonderfully loyal, long-time presenters, spon presenting sponsors of our Women in the World Summit at Lincoln Center and elsewhere, and of course, tonight. So thanks again to Lisa McQueen and the entire team for making this all possible this evening. <laughs> and let's begin.